And here we are back in Puff City, and we've got a really, really neat video for today. One of my favorite Pokemon to use, my Legacy Golbat. I like to think of myself as one of the spicier players. I used more than 20 Pokemon yesterday for fun, just taking suggestions from chat on what they wanted to see. And one of those was a Legacy Golbat, and so we ran it. We had just won the game before with Shiftry, Azumarill, and Honchkrow. We changed the Honchkrow to our ominous win, Golbat. And this is what unfolded in the game. Definitely my favorite game of the night. My favorite game of the week. I mean, it was really, really something as we get into it here. We're leading into a Galvantula. Galvantula is kind of tough because if you can land the charge move to start with, great. Otherwise, you really want to have just gone straight Leaf Blade against the Galvantula. Um, or just straight. If they're going to shield, you, if you think they might shield, straight Leaf Blade is definitely the safe play. So I think we might get through the shield here. We don't. So unfortunately, we're going to be behind on the energy now. We're going to go into another charge move. Clearly the mistake here. Um, should have thrown the foul play. We don't. I think they're going to shield again. And they do not. So a very good no shield from the Spooter here. Unfortunately, I don't want to go down two shields. Because I threw foul play first, it means that they will get to this lunge before me. And I do shield it, actually. And I go into the Leaf Blade because I either want to get both of their shields or I want to get the switch knowing that I have Azumarill and Golbat behind. So I have two Pokemon that can definitely play back. We're not able to get there. The the Galvantula is going to beat us to the charge move again. And going to kill us with a lunge. Down goes our Shiftry. And on to the playing field comes our one and only Ominous Wing Golbat. We tap down the Galvantula. We take some big damage there from a couple of Volt Switches. And now all we have right now is a Golbat and a prayer. A Golbat and a prayer, YouTube. And what happens? The Azumarill comes in. The only way we can win this match is if we boost. I'm literally saying boost. Boost. Please boost. Please. Please boost. Yeah. We boost. First game. We're boosted. A boosted Golbat only takes about 45% damage from an Ice Beam. Unbelievable! We survive it. We get one Poison Fang. We la we're launching the first good. Great. Excellent. Launching it off. Oh, huge damage. Do we get to another? A little bit of lag. Do we get to it? Yes, we do! The boosted Golbat is losing its mind right now. I'm losing my mind again just watching this. Holy cow. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. The Marowak in the back. The game is over. They concede the game in the losing matchup. And I absolutely lose my mind on stream. It was a blast. What a game. What a game. I'm not saying you should try out Ominous Wind Golbat, but if you've got one hiding in your Pokedex, throw it out there for a few games. See what happens. I cannot imagine the reaction from the battler on the other side. If only we knew. <laughs> Remember, no matter where you go, guys, no matter what you do, until next time, just keep tapping. Woo! We're boosted!